Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a night of relaxation. Um, I really want to impart on you the motivation and the inspiration to truly treat yourselves from this video. Um, so we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics of all time, which is what I call a themed bath night. <laughs> and I think everybody has a different term for this. I've heard it called like a spa night, a spa bath, a spa shower, a home spa bath, a luxury bath, a luxury shower. You get the idea. Like we are going to treat ourselves and have that actual spa experience and rejuvenation in our own homes. So the reason I've like honed in on calling it a themed bath night is that I like to give it a theme. <laughs> Maybe this is the key to being extra, but um, I think things just feel more special when they're on theme. When you put a little thought and care into it in advance um, and you have, like you set a tone, you set the ambiance, you really kind of make it special. So. I like to have a theme. I think that's like a shortcut to making something special, basically. And in this case, we're going to be making your night of utter spa relaxation, uh, rejuvenation special with a theme. So I'm going to tell you all my tips and tricks for how I kind of curate a themed night in advance. And the theme for this spa bath that we're about to share is watermelon. And this, if you could just smell, if this video could be scratch and sniff, smell a vision. <laughs> it smells so good because I've been hoarding and gathering all these little watermelon treats to have in a watermelon themed bath. So I thought that would be really fun. It is like the end of summer right now while I'm filming this. I think most people are already kind of in a fall mindset and I'm right there with you. Trust me, there will be pumpkin themed spa baths and there have been before. Um, but I kind of just want to like soak up that last ray of summer and sunshine in this bath and treat myself to the watermelon theme. But Please keep in mind as you're watching this video, you can make a themed bath about anything. You can also do this if you don't have a bath. Even when I lived in apartments that were just showers, I would still have my themed bath nights because that's just what I call it. Um, but I would make it a themed shower night and use special treatments in my shower. You can still use all the fun treatments in the aromatherapy and like set the scene and make it special for yourself. So to kind of lay the groundwork, I already have a bath tips video on this channel. I highly recommend checking that out. It's like just little tips and tricks to actually enjoy the bath, <laughs> the bath experience and all of the special things that you can do to, to make your bath like next level. So this video is going to kind of build on that by saying, how can we bring it into a theme and have that themed luxurious experience? So of course, being me, I thought we needed to bring our planners into the mix. <laughs> and I love using a binder as a planner. This is something else I also have a lot of videos on if you wanna go dig up in my channel and look into that. But this is actually a binder that I use as a planner. This binder is from Target and sadly so hard to find, I'm sorry. But you can always go hunting for it at Target. <laughs> and um, I have made a themed bath night printable so that we can plan our baths in advance. Like. I don't know how I didn't intersect my love for planning with my love for spa bath experiences before, but this is taking it to the next level for me, so I wanted to make something that I could share with you guys. Just an affordable little printable that will be in my milk and honey shop. So I'll give you all the details on that and I'm going to show you. I'll flip the camera and show you exactly how the worksheet works so that you can plan your bath in advance, have the satisfaction, like the planner girl, planner piece satisfaction, and then also I will show you exactly what's going to be in this watermelon bath and then we're gonna dive in together and <laughs> i'm so excited for that relaxation so before we do all that a couple of general notes like i said a themed bath night just means that you're using a theme as a tool to kind of elevate your bath experience make it feel more special and make yourself feel more treated so in the past you can do a theme on literally anything <laughs> i think the first one i ever did was for my birthday so i had like birthday cake theme cake flavor, icing flavor, all of that kind of stuff. And it was really, really fun. I've done a Beauty and the Beast bath where like everything was rose scented and rose flavored and I watched the movie in the bath. So that's always really fun. I've done Cinderella themed baths because Cinderella is my favorite princess and I'm all about indulging your inner child. I've actually done an inner child bath. That was one of my, maybe my favorite one ever where I had like bath time favorites from childhood. It was so cute. I've done pumpkin themed baths for fall. I've done Christmas themed baths. 
Um, another thing that's great to do is you can gift a themed bath. So basically like acquire several items for on the theme and give it to someone as a gift basket. A really cute gift idea. I've done a hot chocolate themed bath, a snow themed bath. Um, I did a pearl themed bath for my friend once. I thought that turned out really cool. It was like products that have pearl in them or like ocean themed. It was just hopefully very soothing and special. So the sky is really the limit with what theme you want to choose. Um, and oftentimes I just do a theme because I'm like organizing my bath products and I notice, hmm, I have like a bunch of vanilla flavored stuff. I might as well do a vanilla bath night. So it really doesn't have to be like this life altering um, reason for the theme other than just like you have a few products that work. The theme could even just be like my favorite products, like a Charlotte themed bath night. Um, I did a milk and honey themed bath night as a giveaway once on this channel. Just the options are limitless and don't put like a ton of pressure on it because it can be very casual like what you have lying around. Like look at what you have and try to draw a theme out of that. Ultimately the most important thing is just that you are taking this as an opportunity to like I said really treat yourself and really indulge and pamper yourself. Um, I say so many times on this channel I really think women we have a hard time with like caring for ourselves. We're natural caregivers for others in general. Um, and then it's like, there's not that much left over for yourself. But I'm a huge proponent of self-care, filling up your own cup so that you can pour out into others. And I know it feels like kind of like selfish and wrong, but I promise if you do treat yourself to something like this, you're going to be so much more filled up that you can then shine that out on the people and the things that are priorities in your life, whether that's like family or work or getting things done. It's going to have benefits if you just take a little night for yourself. So please consider this your permission slip to treat yourself. I know you take great care of other people. I want you to take great care of yourself. And this feels like a silly, frivolous thing, but that's why it's perfect. <laughs> like, you will just feel so treated and loved by yourself when you're taking this bath that you planned in advance. Like you literally planned on paper to make it special. You picked up a couple things or you organized things you already had to make it on a theme, to make it feel a little extra special. You set it up in advance and when you're finally in that moment, it's just like, oh, it's the best feeling. It really feels like self-love. We take things so seriously. So this is a chance for you to lighten up and play and have fun and treat yourself and you get to look forward to it beforehand. You get to enjoy it while you're doing it. And then afterward, you get to have these little like feel good flashes of what a special time that was. Much like after a date, like the next day when you can still get like butterflies in your stomach, we are going for that level of specialness for yourself. And I just want you to finish the spa night smelling like a cloud of watermelon deliciousness or whatever your theme might be and just feeling so cared for because that is the goal because you deserve it and I promise it will overflow into the rest of your life. So that is my self-care pep talk, okay? Please hear me out on this. Um, and now I'm gonna flip the camera, I'm gonna show you the planner pages and show you the products that we're using. Like I said, this is my binder planner and I have added a whole like spa beauty section in here and I am loving it. So this is the printable handout worksheet planner everything that I've <laughs> created for you guys if you're interested. It's a three page printable. This first page is like information and inspiration, um, ideas for all the different products that you could consider. Like if you're having a hard time just even thinking of what would I even use in a bath, like that many products. Just some ideas. You definitely don't have to use every type of bath product ever, but some things to kind of trigger your memory of things you might like or might want to try, stuff like that. So steps and instructions, that's this first printable page. And then here is where you can start actually filling in for your bath. So at the top, you write what the theme is, you plan the date that you want to do it. And then there's some prompts to help you kind of think through how you want the <laughs> experience to go, I guess is how I'll say it. So we talked about color scheme. The nice thing about a theme is it tends to all work together on the color scheme, like everything that's watermelon is pink, so that's kind of nice. Um, but it just helps you think through the ambience and the lighting you want to create. There's a checklist for products that you want to use, so just kind of as you think of things, you can put them in here and then check it off once you've acquired it or if you already have it, just put a little check mark, things like that. Um, down here it helps walk you through the five senses because a huge tip for making this feel like a truly luxurious spa level getaway is to use all five senses. 
as the best way to truly indulge yourself. So this is going to walk you through sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch and help you think of things in advance that are going to trigger all of those areas and just make it like so tantalizing on every level. Um, and just thinking through something ahead, kind of visualizing it ahead is so helpful in being prepared in the moment, having all the products you want to have, having the space look the way you wanted it to, cleaning in advance, things like that. So you're not all flustered and rushed when it gets to your actual spot night. Like you've actually done some planning in advance and you're like ready for it. And then this last page helps you keep an inventory of your current products. It helps you have like a shopping list of things you want to purchase or add to your collection. And then it has, you know, future ideas for upcoming spot nights. So when I'm kind of looking at my current inventory, and I know most people don't like hoard bath supplies, so it's fine if this is like three things and like your regular body wash. But as you, if you kind of enjoy the hobby of this level of self-care, like it will kind of grow naturally as you get gifts and things like that. And you can just have a little tabs on it. And then when you look over what you have in stock, it's like, oh, I have four rose scented things. Maybe I should do a rose bath night um, or something like that might kind of pump, pop out at you. And it's a good way to kind of make sure you're using everything in your collection. You're rotating through your collection. If you have like your body gels are on the shelf in your shower and then your lotions are in the drawer by your bed and then you have like a random in the back of your bath storage, some Epsom salts that somebody gave you, you know, it's like all over the place. It's hard to kind of visualize how you can pull together a special bath night from those random things. So that's why I like to have an actual list of inventory accessible where I can just see it all in one place and get like a bird's eye view. So that's what those three pages help with, and I hope that they are so helpful and inspiring to you, and you can treat yourself and just have this level of decadence and enjoy planning ahead for it, because I do think planning ahead is one of the best parts of anything. It just feels so great to do that. Okay, so looking specifically at what I have gathered for this spa night, I have a watermelon flavored LaCroix. I got sucked into this watermelon wine at Trader Joe's. I feel like it might be horrible. Like, I really don't like sweet wines, and I think this is almost just like a wine cooler. I don't know. I got sucked in because it was cute. It was on theme, so we'll see if that's any good. I have, of course, an actual watermelon. I think this whole themed bath night kind of started from the vision of like having a big juicy slice of watermelon in the bath. Like doesn't that just sound so decadent and indulgent and juicy and good? And then I also have this tub. So another kind of tip is if you can dedicate a tub to an upcoming bath theme, that will help you start to organize and gather your products. So when I first thought, I want to do a watermelon bath, I put everything I already owned that was watermelon scented into here, and then I slowly added to it over time. So like things I already had were, I've loved this mask, I think everybody loves this, it's like kind of a cult favorite, Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask, so good. So I definitely wanted to use this tonight. Um, I think I saw Trader Joe's has like a dupe for this too, and I was tempted to get it for this spa night. But um, since I have the actual one by Glow Recipe, I'm going to be using that. I have the Thayer's Calming Watermelon Face Mist. This has watermelon and cucumber, so I thought that would be really nice. I'm going to refrigerate it and then mist that onto my face during the bath. I got a watermelon sugar scrub. I love the brand Tree Hut. They have such lovely body scrubs. I will also often make my own scrub. And um, if you get my beauty ebook, there's a ton of tips on all of this in more detail. But it's really simple to make your own body scrub, so I often do that. But for this one, I got the watermelon from Tree Hut, and I just thought it was so cute. Like, it has seeds in it and everything, so that's going to be really fun. Um, another tip is when you know your theme in advance, you can kind of start finding things just by searching for it. So, like, whenever I place a Target or a Walmart order, I would just type into the search bar watermelon and see what came up and that's kind of a fun way to find new products that are pretty affordable and then if you add it to your grocery order like one thing at a time all of this was acquired like one thing at a time over a long period of time because I like to plan it in advance like we said so it's not a huge price impact it's like an extra three dollars on your grocery bill here an extra five dollars on your grocery bill there etc so that's how I found this Body Ecology Bubble Bath. This was from Walmart, and I thought that would be perfect to use. That's also how I found this shampoo and conditioner from Garnier. I thought these looked 
delicious and I kind of like Garnier hair products so I think this will be really fun to have. And that's how I found these face wipes from that brand that's like yes to and then it has like the fresh ingredients. So these are watermelon face wipes. So fun and refreshing to start with those. I thought chewing some watermelon gum would be great. I was remembering like watermelon bubble yum from childhood and for some reason I couldn't find it. So instead we have extra watermelon flavor. I love the Tony Moly brand sheet masks for spa nights specifically because they do the branding like huge with whatever the featured ingredient is. So it just visually works so well if you want to take a picture of of all your cute like products together. I highly recommend doing that because it's just so satisfying to see all of your little work to like gather all this stuff. Um, and then you can put it on Instagram, use my, use the themed bath night hashtag and we can all like scope out each other's bath nights. It's just so cute, it's so inspiring. So yeah, I love the watermelon sheet masks. These are a really good price point from Ulta. I have a lip scrub that's watermelon by St. Ives. I have one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works the watermelon lemonade candle. So that's gonna make my bathroom smell incredible. I mean, all of these products are gonna make my bathroom smell incredible. This is some watermelon bath soak by the brand Scentsy. I know it kind of looks like a shady drug deal because it's in the Ziploc bag, but my friend was sweet enough to share some of her larger bag of bath soak with me. So that's why this is like just a, a single portion and random packaging. But I think I'll put this into like a cute little pink dish or something because I do think presentation is important with these things. It's like a visual cue to your brain to tell yourself, I'm important, this is important, this bath night is important, like I am slowing down and making time for myself and I'm like, you know, not rushing it or taking the easy way out, like I'm really going to treat myself right. <laughs> so I really think you should take the time on presentation if you can and like I said, lay everything out, take a cute picture, etc. And then lastly, I got this bath bomb. How cute is this little watermelon slice? And I love to get bath bombs on Etsy. There's so many cool sellers that hand make their products. And again, with like a themed bath night, you can just find anything on Etsy, like a pumpkin bath bomb, um, I mean, obviously a watermelon, a lemon, whatever your theme might be, there's something on Etsy, it's great. Another source for bath bombs that I really like is Lush. The Lush brand is heavenly and they have a lot of like very theme friendly different types of bath bombs. So those are all of the products that we're gonna be using and let's go get it all laid out in the bathroom so that it looks absolutely delicious and inviting and just sets the stage. All right, I am here to officially start preparations. Are you gonna help me, Cindy? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> you wanna take a spa night? Oh, you guys, this sweet angel right here, she is so precious. But I don't wanna get us too sidetracked. I wanted to point out that I came in here earlier and I put clean sheets on the bed, got it all fixed up, <laughs> and I do think clean sheets are essential. Like I almost want to go so far as to say it's a non-negotiable part of spa night that you treat yourself to some clean sheets on the bed because after the spa bath, you're just going to feel so clean and relaxed and like just so good. And crawling into crisp clean sheets is the perfect finish to that. If you crawl into like a messy, dirty bed that you didn't even make, it'll just harsh the spa vibes. So don't do that to yourself. Do a little bit of cleaning in advance. Um, I put the clean sheets on the bed and I also came in here and cleaned my bathroom earlier. So if you can in advance, like make sure you scrub your tub. That's like not something you want to be doing when you're ready to relax. You want to get that out of the way. So the floors and everything like that I did earlier and that was kind of a little treat for myself to not have to do it now. Also, I normally like to recommend setting up the actual spa stuff in advance. Like if you, for instance, work outside of the home, if you could set up the bathtub tray and everything for yourself first and then go to work and then all day you'll know like you have this to come home to and come home, it's so fun. Or if you work from home like I do, like earlier when I took a break, I could have snuck in here, set it up for myself then instead of just like being on my phone <laughs> while I eat lunch or whatever. Um, just try to like carve out a minute like instead of going on Instagram, come into 
your little sanctuary and create the spa vibe for yourself. That said, I didn't get a chance to do that earlier, but I did clean and I'm going to go ahead and lay out all of the little treats for tonight's bath night now. And then that way I can like go eat dinner and finish up like my evening tasks I need to get done. And it'll still feel like really special to come in here and have this all laid out for myself. So I don't want to repeat myself too much. I did share about this bath tray in my bath tips video, but I will put a link to that down below. Feels extra spa-like if you can have like a little, especially wooden bath tray to display all of your special treatments. And then when you're taking your bath, you can just kind of like pick and choose off of your tray, like bonbons <laughs> out of a candy dish. Like it just feels so decadent. So I'm just gonna take a second to kind of arrange all my little watermelon treats in here and make it look all pretty and cute and fun to dive into later. I already feel very spa-like and zen out just looking at this festive array. I have a wine glass. I brought in a pink plastic one. I thought this flamingo was kind of perfect for like my late summer theme. So that will have my watermelon wine and that will have my watermelon slices. And then I just kind of arranged all of the other little products so I can see them all and use them all easily. I thought bringing in these daisies added a really fun, sweet, summery kind of vibe. And then I just brought in a ton of candles, little tea lights, and some candlesticks so that there will be a lot of candlelight because it's so important to think about the ambiance and the lighting in advance. Like you don't wanna just jump in the tub and then realize you're in fluorescent lighting and that's not relaxing. It's like same lighting you had at the office all day and it just isn't the right vibe. So this is all laid out for me and I can go about my tasks tonight and then like come in here and just feel so treated when it's time for the bath. The time has come. I am so excited, so ready. I'm telling you, the best part about a theme bath night or a spa night is looking forward to it in the anticipation and I'm just oh, I'm so excited. So let's take things down a notch. I'm gonna dim the lights, um, maybe play some nice music for you guys <laughs> so we can all just kind of relax with like a little montage of spa goodness right now. And so I'll go ahead and sign off and say, I just really hope you're inspired to treat yourself because I know, I know you're not taking good enough care of yourself. I know you're taking care of other people. So please do something sweet for yourselves. If this inspires you, if this sounds good to your soul, then have at it, highly recommend. And I have all the tools and resources for you to take care of yourself. So with that said, let's relax, kick back, and enjoy the last drops of summer with this watermelon spa bath. I wonder what you are doing in a city park riding. Or better yet, you know I bet you're at home cooking. I wonder what you are wearing, a cable knit sweater you pair with. Corduroy slacks, when I take that back, you might be more daring. of being stuck in my room have nothing to do so i start dreaming of you you might be a creation of my subconsciousness to cope with life going mad can you blame me for that so i know that there will come a day it could be snowing or i'll find myself caught in the rain i look into a crowd so many faces but a single one will send out heart